come on guys, it is the Pretty Couch Oracles here coming with a very late night read. I have a new deck that I want to use. It's a couple of days after my birthday. And I woke up and I can't get right back to sleep and my spirit is telling me that now is a really, really, really good time to read. So, that's what we're going to do. Alright. First card out for whoever this is going to resonate with. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card about stability, self-stability, sustainability, It's a card about caring for the self. It's a card even of luxury, okay? Um, having more than enough resources, tangible resources. It can be in real estate. It can be um, with a job, maybe, okay, where you're really able to live whatever you consider to be a luxurious life, okay? For some of you guys, it's having the funds to cover all of your bills and then even have a little bit left over so you can do nice things um, for yourself, okay? It's having a nice home. This could also be about your health, okay? Your fitness, like some of us are working on our fitness. The sign of Virgo is most notably connected to this card, but this could also deal with Capricorn and Taurus energy. All right. This is a lot of energy that came out. Great. So we've got the Ten of Swords here. I feel like something has come to an end. Um, in this deck, this cat reminds me of, like, the devil energy. So, there's some type of uh, low vibrational energy, I think, that is now trapped, I feel. This cat looks a little trapped. So, that's why it's going to come to its end. Um... There could be something that's bittersweet about this energy, but it's very necessary, okay? And this could be the present energy that we're in that's going to, um, okay, I see here the Page of Wands. I see the Page of Wands here. All right, well, I'm being led to go back to this other card, so I'm about to do that really quick. I feel like somebody could be stuck or somebody's not going to be able to move forward or someone's having um, a hard time because of fear. Because this cat reminds me of the devil card in this deck, so I feel like there's some type of fear that's got somebody bound. The Page of Wands is a very important message that has been received. It could have something to do with a child, okay, who could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. But okay, I'm also getting this vibe of somebody trying to dangle something in front of someone. Trying to maybe dangle the hopes of something that they're passionate about, that they would get really excited about. <laughs> okay, I see the Seven of Pentacles here. The Seven of Pentacles is about um, investment. Okay, so somebody could receive word about something that they have invested in or maybe they're going to be receiving word about somebody wanting to invest in them okay it's very possible 
And some of you guys may entertain the thought. The Seven of Pentacles is also about being patient. It's about seeds that have already been planted and being watered even. And there's growth. There's money growing on trees here. So I kind of feel like some of us could receive word about something that we put in some effort into in some times past that are going to be coming back. I'm hearing the phrase chicken coming home to roost. So I really feel like this is some type of, I think some type of advancement or some type of I just feel like there's about to be some type of show for the efforts and the work that has already been put in. And this is even if you don't remember that you did this, if you don't, you know, really think that these things yielded any results. I feel like they actually have. Look at that cat and look at those pentacles in the trees with leaves and flowers around it and the butterflies guys that indicates transformations and change rebirth and renewal and the spring so there was something that was planted in a garden and now that garden is yielding I feel some of you guys myself included some fruit that's what I think Okay, and guys, look, this is the last card that came out. This is the Ace of Cups. This is so exciting. Okay, so this can be about spirituality. It could be about emotions and feelings, but this could also be about um, love. This could be another spiritual awakening for either someone that you're connected to or for you. Okay, but baby, this is a gift of the most high God coming in. You will, you will be absolutely, I think someone's going to still be shocked. Okay, you could have known, you could have even somehow in your soul been patiently waiting for these things to happen for you, but it's still a shock. It's like you knew it was going to come, but you did not know exactly when it was going to come. And blot out, here it is. Okay, um... This is looking like a W, but it could also be the letter M. So that might be really significant for some of us. Um, I think somebody has won someone's heart because with the W, I'm getting win. I'm getting the, the word win. Guys, I feel like someone's heart is just overflowing. And I think that in some kind of way, whether it's through expression, conversation, okay, or even with actions of investment, okay, somebody is going to be pouring into you and this is going to be them showing their heart. Um, let's get into the signs really quick for this card. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, I also feel like it can deal with the sign of Virgo or Leo. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The Page of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. The Ten of Swords could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Let us look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I want to go back to this Nine of Pentacles energy. I feel like some of us are going to be doing things to beautify ourselves and to beautify our space, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like for some of y'all, with that nine of pentacles energy, I really think that you are going to move. You guys are going to move into a, a really, really nice space. 
and you're going to be so excited. You're going to decorate it the way that you want. It's going to be laid out, okay, the way that you want it to. So if, if you've been wanting to manifest something like that, I feel like you definitely need to listen to yourself. You should be creating your vision boards. You should be, and if you don't want to do a vision board, just thinking about it in your mind. What colors do you want in your home? What do you want it to smell like, okay? What is the energy of your home that you want to, your house to embody or your apartment, whatever kind of residence it is, okay? Start thinking about that. All right, at the bottom of the deck, I see the Eight of Cups. This is about walking away from, I think, what's no longer serving in search of that ninth cup, which would be wish fulfillment, okay? Um, this, was guarded by the, this was guided by the intuition. You may not have been able to see everything very clearly, but one thing you knew is that you felt that it was time to either emotionally disconnect from someone or really physically disconnect from them. I'm seeing the seven of wands. Somebody is on guard here. Um, they're on guard. Somebody could feel very defensive, okay? This could be your energy still, or this could be um, someone else's energy. Someone feels like they have to stand up for what they believe in. Um, this could have been what motivated some of you guys to either emotionally disconnect or to truly dis walk away in the physical as well. You needed to protect your energy. You needed to protect yourself. You also needed to stand up for what it is that you said you wanted. You know, um, you also may have felt like there were people who had some shit to say about your stance, you know, and it had you a little defensive for some of y'all. But for some reason, I feel like it's all about to pay off. It's really about to pay off for you. Um, I have the Knight of Pentacles, which is all about planning, okay? Um, this is about being meticulous, paying attention to detail, uh, preparation, okay? Getting things that you're going to need together. This could deal with work, you guys. This could deal with your emotions, your feelings. Um, and it can deal with material possessions, okay? Let me see what I see on this card. Okay, I'm also seeing spell work here. So some of you guys could be doing spell work. Now, I want to be very clear when I say what spell work. Many people think that it's like, you know, actually going and buying things, having spiritual tools but you never needed a spiritual tool a day in your life like you are the ultimate spiritual tool and what you, whatever you're focusing on whatever you're thinking about constantly um whatever thoughts you have towards even other people um who either have the things or seem to be living the lifestyle that you desire um, whether you get excited about those things whether you become envious and jealous all of that energy so all of that energy and, and whatever way it shows up and makes itself clear in your life, that is all spell work. You breathing in and out spell work. Your feelings that you have about your current circumstances and the thoughts that that evokes, all of that is spell work. Okay? So that's why we are often taught to be mindful of what we're thinking and to pay attention to how we're feeling because if ever that is out of alignment with what it is that we're calling forth then our what does the bible say a house divided won't stand it's going to fall so that would tell me that the, the things that you're attempting to manifest they will not come to pass if you're if everything is not together okay um I also feel like because this is my overall energy right now, I get the vibe, guys, that if you want to experience what came out in the main cards here, you are going to have to disconnect emotionally from things that are no longer serving you. You're going to have to get honest with yourself about what it is that you want, okay? Um, and you're going to have to take a stand despite what 
people may say to you, what it may look like, how people may talk about you or question your choices. And you need to come up with a plan of action and then you need to execute that plan. This is how you're going to make it to that Ace of Cups energy, the Nine of Pentacles energy, the Seven of Pentacles energy. Now, to be clear, I really feel like some of us have already done this. I really, really do. I feel like the work has already been done. So you can expect for the things that you've been looking to manifest to happen for you. A lot of the people I'm talking to, this is something you've already done. But for others, you could be getting ready to walk into that type of energy or you could be there right now in this space of like, should I go or should I stay type energy? Um, what is it that I really want? I need to figure it out. Okay. And you may be in this space of needing to plan. Whatever it is for you guys, let me know. This has been my reading. It's a late night read. I feel the need to keep on going. So let's talk about this page of swords that I see next at the bottom of the deck, which the page of swords talks about communication coming in via telephone, video chatting, email, text message, um, even just a phone conversation and maybe even a face-to-face -face conversation. Um, I don't know why I feel like, now this may not pertain to everyone because I don't even really know who does this anymore, but I also feel like somebody is literally looking through a phone book, okay, for some of you guys, but for others, this is also about picking up a new understanding through studying, through referencing, okay, and then I see the emperor here. <laughs> This is looking like a Persian cat. So there may be some type of connection to Persia. I don't really know. You can take that with a grain of salt, you guys. But um, there's some type of royalty here. There's a royal line, a royal energy here. This could be um, just energetic and spiritually. Or this could really be that some of y'all might you know, really get with someone who is a royal in some way, shape, or, or form. Okay, so, but the emperor is all about being in control, someone who's in control of their life. It is also, could be a male figure or a female figure in her masculine energy. Um, it could be a father figure, a brother figure, a boss figure, um, a, someone of authority or someone of major significance in your life okay um that this is connected to this is why all of this has to happen so yeah um i feel like if this is a matter of the heart and love i think that there is some masculine who is going to really have to get their stuff together as it is part of his mission and life's work to be connected to the energy over here, which I feel is like, I think this is connected to their love, their lover, their woman, okay? So that has been the reading, peace, love, light, and darkness, which all work together to bring balance and harmony, first within ourselves and then within our world, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Oh, if you're new to the channel, please consider uh, commenting, liking, and subscribing. All right?